Uh, some of the key bottlenecks facing the industry um, are really due to the fact that this is a totally new modality, right? We're starting with patient material as the beginning of the process. So patient cells, often immune cells. We're not starting with a chemical or a biologic. So these are often tailored, you know, precision medicines. And so we have to gather them from the patient and then that starts the supply chain. So it's a new modality for the industry to try and deal with this kind of circular path where you start with the patient and you end with the patient. Uh, and also you have to treat the cells differently than you would a regular medication. So they're living medicines. Um, so it causes all kinds of complexity down the supply chain. So logistics, going from where the patient is to a central location, often that's a couple days journey. You know, the cells have to be cryopreserved. Often not all cells work uh, in cryopreservation. There's a, a couple days of travel. There's actually, uh, in the early days, a patient in Australia, they would harvest their cells there. They would fly them to the Netherlands to be processed. Then they would probably be processed there for a couple weeks and flown back. So you can imagine that kind of logistical supply chain, very complicated. Uh, and then once it gets to the manufacturing site, uh, it's often a very manual process. So the way we've kind of evolved cell and gene therapy manufacturing is to take a lab scale process and then try and scale that lab scale process up. And there's risks to that where you have to translate the process several times. Oftentimes we're not successful at doing that, having the process um, be comparable at the commercial scale versus the clinical scale. Uh, but also that process has to be administered by very highly skilled people. They're expensive, there's not enough of them in very large facilities. So if you kind of at a highest level, the problems are around cost of goods, very expensive medications to make. Around throughput, there's a relatively low throughput processes and high variability. So that variable starting material, the kind of manual process makes it very highly uh, um, subjective, very variable on the output side. You know, what you want is the same thing to happen every time. But in cell and gene therapy, it's very difficult for us to do that. So really what we're trying to, ad to address is a lot of those bottlenecks from vein to vein, from the time we harvest the cells from the patient for the time we uh, return the therapeutic, by automating where we can, by taking people out of the process where we can, uh, and maybe even bringing the process closer to the patient. So right now those centralized models have been developed for small molecules and biologics and have been in place for you know, 20, 30, 40 years. Uh, I think we need to think differently about how we approach uh, cell and gene therapy in a totally new way, in a totally new delivery model, which includes manufacturing. So it's harvest, it's manufacture, it's returning back to the patient. Uh, and so Ori's platform is really focused on solving this dichotomy. You know, how do you do mass personalization? You know, you want to do targeted personalized therapy, but you need to do it at scale. And those two things are seemingly in conflict. Uh, so we're, our, we're seeking to industrialize precision medicine. So how do we create repeatable processes that are low cost, high throughput, and high quality? And that's not an easy challenge, as you know, uh, but that's our ambition as a company.